That's what we all should be setting for ourselves. But what the heck are they? Well, we can use each of the letters that makes up a SMART goal to tell us how we can go about setting these goals. First of all, it's important that your goals are specific. It can't be loose and wobbly, otherwise your odds of achieving it aren't very high. I'm not going to say, in the new year, I'm going to get fitter. That's never going to happen. <laughs> what I'm going to say is be specific. Something like, I will walk to work at least one way every day. It's got to be measurable. If you're not measuring it and monitoring it, again, it's probably not going to happen. If we didn't have an odometer in our car, a speedo, who would know how fast they were going and would we really care? We've got to be able to measure it. It's got to be achievable. It's highly unlikely that in my goal of getting fitter, I'm going to run a four-minute mile, or in modern language, or whatever, that, whatever the metric version of that is. It's not achievable. So you've got to set things that you can actually do, and it's got to be relevant. If it's something completely unrelated to your life or your aspirations, again, it's probably not going to happen. And last but not least, it's got to be time-based. We know we all do better with a deadline. So don't just think about personal activities. Relate this to your workplace goals. Set yourself some goals for 2017. Maybe even some training goals. Like do your homework on time. 